I got this question on a previous video that I made on how you can change your brand store name, the title of your brand store. The question was how you can change your brand store logo. And in this video, I'll show you how easily to change your brand store logo. Hi, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com where I share with you videos, updates, and tutorials about Amazon FBA and e-commerce. All the information that I share with you here is completely free. Now, as we go through the video, if you find value in it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications so for every new video that I release, you can get notification and updates and keep yourself up to date, of course. Now, all links for everything I'm going to mention in this video will be down below in the description section. Okay, so to change your brand store logo, um, I'll show you in, 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 in very easy steps how to do it. Uh, it might require you to edit your logo to fit Amazon requirements, which I'll show here too how to do it. Shouldn't be that uh, complicated. But in order to do it, you go here to the uh, gear icon on the top right side. Then you go to your info and policies. And under that page, just click on profile. Under profile, you will have here about your business, which you can edit as well. You can have change the seller logo. That's the one that will show under the, um, you know, under the the the, the store uh, profile. It's not again. It's not the, the the store page. I'll show you exactly where it is. So um, let's go to Amazon. And for example, let's click on this uh, blender. Okay, so it's not the store name here. Okay, that's a different uh, thing, and you control it from some, some somewhere else. You know, so here where I'm talking about the actual profile, where you see the feedbacks and all of that. This is the logo. Okay, so you want to change this one, the seller logo. So what it supported? This is the requirement. It should be JPEG or GIF. It could be up to two megabytes. It should be 120 pixels wide and 30 pixels tall, and it uh, cannot contain any animations. So GIF uh, is supporting animations and movements, but if you do have it, it will not be supported. And I'll show you, let's go and try to get an example. Let's go to here, Fiverr. And let's search for logo. Um, let's go and click on this one. Let's try to find the logo here. Here, let's say this one, okay? I'm sorry if this is someone you know. Let's save it on our computer. And let's see the, the, the measurement. So right now it's 680 pixels by 449. So we need to meet the requirements of 120 by 30. So let's do a Google search for crop uh, image online tool uh, we can go I don't want to click on the ads let's go to this one image cropper and let's click on crop photo upload file and this is our logo right so we're gonna first of all crop remove all the white spaces that we had because you want the logo to show without any white spaces right so now that we have it, we can click on crop image. And now I also need to resize it. It's not just the cropping. So let's see if the uh, resize image I have here. So let's do it 120 by 30. Okay, so now as you can see, the logo is good. It's cropped and resized, but actually it doesn't allow me to Okay, so this tool doesn't really allow you to resize it exactly for these measurements. That means that because of the ratio, it would look stretch or look weird if it's going to be like that. So we have to find a different tool. Crop. Let's go to this one. Let's check this one. Okay, this one looks better, I think. So, uh, first of all, let's just 
cut it like that. Okay, so first we have to crop it. Um, so we can download the cropped image. Cropped image. And I want now resize image. And let's go to this one online image resizers. Upload an image. Cropped image. Now I want to resize it. So. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, let's see the setting. Resize your image. 120 by 30. So again here, uh, we have to unselect the kit to aspect ratio. Okay. Now click on resize the image. This is the new image. And as you can see, now it will meet the requirements. So this one, you go back to uh, Seller Central. You click on upload image and you choose the image that you, you just resized. So very self-explanatory. I did show the step of how to crop and how to resize because many people get confused with that step. So I hope it was helpful and that you are now able to change and it's more clear to you how to change your seller profile brand logo. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like this video and subscribe if you didn't subscribe. See you in the next one.